Hi, I'm Rick Foster. Welcome to Rick Uncork 365. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I know who is subscribing. And also, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to not only my YouTube channel, but also to my Twitter, my Instagram, and to Facebook. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying my series as we go through 365 days of tasting different wines and champagnes. Now, today I have a unique wine. It is produced by a female winemaker, Miriam Gomez. Now, Miriam Gomez is an Argentina, so today I have a Uno um, Malbec from Argentina that was produced by winemaker Miriam Gomez. Now, on the Wine Spectator, this is receiving 90 points, which means it's, you know, pretty high up there for a standard, regular Malbec wine. <clears throat> it's listed pretty high in the ranking. Now, what I want to tell you about Malbecs is it's grown in Argentina at a higher elevation. So when you bring the grape or the vine up to a higher elevation for growth, it tends to grow a thicker skin, a thicker, you know, vine. So you're going to have a little bit of some rich plum colors and the taste is going to be that of a heartier fruit. So you'll start to have some plum flavoring, some blackberry flavoring. You'll have some of these fruit flavors that are, you know, synonymous with, you know, heartier, dark, rich colored fruits. Now, Malbec, being a hearty grape that it is, actually pairs very well with heavy meals, spicy foods, um, you know, sometimes uh, people will serve it with a lamb or a um, duck if the duck is kind of got a, made with a strong flavor or a, little, a stronger broth. People will often use a Malbec to tone that down or to complement it because the Malbec is such a heartier grape. But this uh, Malbec is um, titled Uno, or number one, but it's actually Uno because they have a different, uh, this vineyard, uh, Vintner has a different uh, brand called One, but it is a different type of grape. This here is 100% Malbec grape grown in the higher ele elevation there in, uh, outside Mendoza, Argentina, just at the base of the, um, on the Andes Mountains. Um, I broke the cork here, so it's gonna take me a second here to get this out. Um, the cork was very dry, but we were able to get it done. Let me give this a taste and tell you what I think. Tastes like a Malbec. That is a bold, rich flavor with a lot of tannins. Now, Malbec is not for everyone. Because it's so bold, it is also dry. Now, this bottle has been aged in an oak barrel for eight to 10 months. But not only the oak barrel giving it the dryness, but the tannins, um, and the acidic in that in that grape really gives you a dryness on your palate. Almost makes your tongue pucker for a minute. Um, let me give this another taste. That's got a lot of tannins in it. Um, it's got some natural acidity. Um, just from the way that the grapes have fermented because they are such a, you know, hearty uh, fruit. Uh, that has some hints of some chocolate. It's got a little bit of hints of uh, maybe some, like a pepper. Um, it's got a little hint of, of a strawberry or a, or a blackberry. But that is, it's a very nice red Malbec wine. So if you ever want to try something different, and try a hearty wine that will go well with a very hearty meal or bold uh, fare, this would be the wine for that. But I wanna give a, you know, kind of a tribute to um, Miriam Gomez, a female winemaker in Argentina. She did apprentice at Opus and she travels around the world, usually in France or Napa Valley, studying winemaking, and then takes the knowledge that she learns back to Argentina 
and produces this wonderful wine. Well, cheers. I hope you enjoyed this segment. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel and see me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Next time, cheers.